Hey guys, so what we have here is uh, we have a uh, we're starting on the x uh, on the circle. Okay, now what happens is to give you a center of a circle. So as an example, if I have an x y plane like so, uh, to center the circle in in this chapter in this exercise, the center of the circle is always zero zero. It won't remain like that, but for this exercise, it is. Now the next thing they do is they say, how do you draw one of radius three? I so not how you draw it, but what's the equation of a circle of radius 3? So basically, they want me to find out what is the equation of this circle here. See the way it goes 3 in every direction? Yeah? <coughs> that means its radius is 3. What is the equation of this? So, there's a formula in your notes. It's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals radius squared. Now, r is the radius and h and k is the center of the circle. So can anybody in the class tell me what is the h value? Zero. x minus zero squared. What's the k value? What's the y value? Zero. What's the r value? Three. Step after that. Do we even have to put in those zeros? So it's x squared plus y squared. Everybody all right with that? Because the, the zeros don't even have to be there. And it, what, equ what does that equal? 9. Is that right? So that is a radius of... That's a radius of... 3. Okay. Let's try a radius of 10. Okay, guys. Radius of 10. Same formula again. Except this time it's obviously a much bigger circle. So it's no longer a radius 3. Just for argument's sake. I'll just call this radius 10. Okay. What do I put down this time? X minus zero squared plus minus zero squared. Because remember, the, the center is zero, zero. That means H is zero and K is zero. And then after that, R squared. And then after that, X squared plus Y squared equals 100. Now, this is the formula for radius 10 center zero zero this is the formula for radius three center zero can somebody in the class make a prediction for me what would be the formula for radius five center zero zero just same thing isn't it except it has a five squared instead of three squared so you can see there is a shorter way of doing it isn't there but that comes from understanding as opposed to if you learn it off it would be more difficult. Okay? So that's that's alright for these ones. Now what happens when we get a square root sign like uh, question seven as an example? So this time it's no longer radius ten. It's gonna be radius root seven then. Radius root seven then center zero zero. So what can you tell me the answer is gonna be? x minus 0 squared, y minus 0 squared. What's root 17 to be squared? I just 17. Uh, if, you, if you square a square root, whatever is inside the square root is the answer. Is that okay? <coughs> so, basically we have uh, x squared plus y squared equals uh, 17. Is that right? Uh, what would be the answer for question A, root 23? All you gotta do is put in root 23 and then square it out and you get 23. Now, they try to go a bit more advanced on you in, in the next couple of questions. So, an example would be question 11. Okay? In question 11, here's what they tried to do to you instead. I'll just keep that formula there. And what they tried to do to you instead is this you're still using the red formula, but they say is your center is 0, 0. Because it says in questions 1 to, find 1 to 14, your center is always 0, 0. So in question 11, it contains the point 1 minus 5. So where is 1 minus 5 located, guys? 1 minus 5? Tell me when I'm at it. Or when I go through it. When? See it here? I'm oh, sorry, 1 minus 5. I did 2 minus 5. 
Let's go back down. There, isn't it? One, oh sorry, one minus five. Never mind me. Uh, I'll just draw it first, probably be easier way. One across, and five down. Now, if you're, if technically speaking, if you're in, a, in an exam, here's what you do. You'd go to your zero, zero. Some of you have seen me use this before. Uh, you'd go to zero, zero. You'd stretch it out. And you'd you'd make sure that it hits the uh, one minus five mark. Now, once again, you don't have to draw it out. I'm just drawing it out for her. And that's it there. Okay. You can see it's off radius. It's off radius five, isn't it? Now, because we're not drawing it out, we'd have to calculate the radius, right? So, we know that the center is zero, zero. And we know that this is the point, uh, what's it, one minus five? One minus five, yeah. How do you get the distance between these two points? What formula would help you do that? The distance formula. What's the distance formula? I remember second exercise we did. Okay. X1, Y1. X2. Y2. Okay. It's actually it's actually not five on the money, it's actually just over five. Can you see that? So it's actually D equals uh what's it gonna be? One minus zero squared plus y two minus y one. Uh, uh root twenty six. Now root twenty six is barely above five. It's a tiny bit above the value of five. You can see that here, it's a bit longer than five and technically speaking I probably just made a slight error in my draw and I say it's a bit more like this. Bit bit more something like that with with a small error either side, okay? That can happen sometimes if you make a draw. <coughs> now let's go back to our formula then. Can anybody tell me how to finish this off now? What's the H and K value? Uh, H and K value is always the center of the circle. X minus zero squared plus Y minus zero squared. And what's the radius squared? So this is going to be X squared plus Y squared equals 26. Do you need to see another example of one like that? One more? Okay. Uh, Question. Let me see. Question ten would be a better one. Okay. Question ten. So, in question ten, what we have is so in question ten it says we start at zero zero, and we end at what point? Minus three minus two. And then. We can draw a circle, I'll just do it this way this time. It goes through that point there, yeah? Now, we can see the radius is 3 and a bit, isn't it? Like 3.6-ish, around there somewhere, okay? Now, what we're going to do is this. We're going to uh, work out the distance between... We need to use our, uh, our formula, which is uh, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. You need to find out the h value, the k value, and the r value to make that work. What's the h value? k value? r value is what we're trying to find out. No, you have to work it out. You can, you can use Protagoras' theorem, or you can use the distance formula. We'll just stick with the distance formula because we're studying for uh, your, your, what you call it, your geometry test. So what we're going to do is this. Uh, we're going to use that distance formula that I have underneath here. And then what we're going to get. Let that be zero, x1, y1, x2, y2. So it's going to be minus 3 minus 0 squared plus minus 2 minus 0 squared. I can tell you that's going to be squared to 13, which is roughly 3.6. Okay. 
So we now know that the radius is root 13. So what can we do now? We have all three pieces of information. So, so yeah, x squared plus y squared equals root 13 squared, x squared plus y squared equals 13. Okay, guys. So.